activate till this block, the show where I talk about my boring life. Um, and uh, as you can see, I got lunch, and uh, I will not be caught vlogging in school, nor will I be caught by anybody in the hallway. So, this is regularly part of my routine. <laughs> Get in the hallway as briefly as possible. Do not use the bathroom, because I've got my head slammed into the wall there. And, thankfully we are in the teacher's lounge. <laughs> the perks of getting the police involved with your last assault on campus. Oh, gross. I just sounded like Tana Mojo. <laughs> Talk about problematic faves on YouTube. Look how disgusting the inside of the microwave is. I mean, I think the janitor just skips it on purpose. Notice I made kava tapi because, yet again, I had to eat alone. Well, apparently they threw out all their soy sauce. briefly touched on it out there. Uh, the reason for the mad dash through the halls is that there's a specific reason that I don't eat in the cafeteria and that's a mixture of two different events. One of them is that there was this epic food fight in the cafeteria but it was not a food fight cafeteria wide. It was actually just kind of confined to three out of like 16 tables and the food fight wasn't amongst just all those three people. It was all three of those tables throwing food at me, and I had just gotten some new clothes, which is a rare thing for me. Usually, we're going to Goodwill. We had just gotten all these clothes for the first week of school. You know, my mom and Kohl's. <laughs> um, and yeah, my outfit was completely destroyed beyond repair. And you know, believe me, we tried bleach, nothing worked. And then the second occasion was a time when uh, we were getting hamburgers for lunch, and uh, the burgers came in this foil. They don't use foil anymore for this reason. One kid took his foil and he balled it up, and then he took his friend's foil and he added that, and then he took the next one and the next one, and he just kept balling this up like kids do with their Easter candy when they take the little tin foil and they make it into a big ball. Only this is a huge tin foil ball made from burger wrappers. And uh, someone lobbed it at me and gave me a big welt on the back of the head. And unfortunately, there were no adults watching. And the reason why I can't use the bathroom during the school day is because there's one time where someone smashed my head into the wall and no students got punished for that. The reason for that is that um, no one else saw it. So if there's not someone from the faculty there or at least one other student besides me that would be on my side, then the students would get in trouble. But because everyone here at school hates Beethoven, I'm basically a walking target. And until they put cameras in places where they really need it, um, I kind of can't use the bathroom anymore. Because no students got in trouble, my mom was more than a little bit pissed and got the police involved. So the principal grudgingly has allowed me to eat lunch in the teacher's lounge. I always sign out of class at fifth period right before lunch, about 10 minutes before the period's over and then I just don't come back. So that way I can get through the halls with very minimal contact with anybody. I figured that I would use this free time to go through my questions on my comment section, which I got more questions this week. Some of them were doubled up, but that means I have two new viewers. I'm not sure which country they're from because I don't see them on my demographics. And I really hope that they don't go to this school. Okay, so the first comment is, what's the deal with all the Chopin all of a sudden? Beethoven's great. Like, I go by Beethoven <laughs> as my own name. But you can only listen to the Moonlight Sonata about 700 times before you become interested in some other classical artists. I was recommended Chopin by a music teacher. Um, I had this horribly complicated final the next day. And I have a really hard time focusing, even if it's just in a quiet room. So I played Chopin in the background while I was studying, and oh man, that made a difference. <laughs> so that and the soundtrack to Pirates of the Caribbean, those are my go-to for studying. You trap for your school <coughs> Sorry. 
Now, it's a mix of cayenne pepper, and that question's hilarious. What do you think? <laughs> um, no, I did not try out for a school play. What's your favorite class? Okay, so favorite class. Ironically and unironically, that would be chemistry. My chemistry class was taught by a guy called Mr. Baldwin, who is 60 years old, and every single day, I don't know who picks out these ties for him. He picks the most god-awful ties. The first one was this wood tie, and it was kind of blocky, like if you imagine video game graphics. And then the next day, he had this bolo tie, which, I mean, if you're about it, go ahead, you do you, but like, ugh. And then, oh, on that week, he was on a roll. His last tie was like, if you can imagine, like the Beanie Baby version of an alligator, but with like fishing wire around it, that literally looked like he was just wearing a Beanie Baby for a tie. And I was kind of like looking forward to seeing if he can top yesterday's disaster. And then there was this time where he made this bet with us that if we all got at least 80% on a midterm, that he was gonna do a cartwheel in class. And this guy is 60 years old, like white hair on the side of his head, no hair on the top of his head. Um, pretty sure he has arthritis. And we all got 80%. We were all prepared to kick Kevin's butt because he almost got 79. We all get 80%. He goes to do the cartwheel in class and he knocks over the projector. So, um, luckily he didn't break a hip, he didn't break his projector, and we all got to see him do a cartwheel. <clears throat> Beethoven editing this is gonna love editing all this. And the last question is, why don't you talk to the principal about the boys, you stupid... Oh. So I'm not gonna say the last word there. They called me a twit, but they used a different vowel. And the answer is, I have talked to the principal about it. And because you need to have at least one other person there in order to get the other person in trouble, um, it would really help if there were other students that when they saw this, they would at least be on my side. Even people that don't hate me won't take my side because I think they think they're gonna get targeted next or some way or be lumped up with the weirdo that, um, well, I have a messed up home life. I think that's why people decided that they weren't going to, um, I don't know. That's a whole can of worms. That's part of the reason why I bring lunch to school every day Part of it is, I don't want to buy lunch in the cafeteria, and the second part is that I can't buy lunch in the cafeteria. I know I mentioned that I like this podcast called Bad With Money because my family is bad with money, but it's not really that we're bad with money, it's just that um, um, my mom has three jobs and she's the only working parent um, as a single parent, and it's kind of hard to collect alimony when your other parent doesn't work because they're in prison. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna peace out for a little bit and I will continue this back home. Oh God, oh God, oh God, okay, okay. Um, hmm, so uh, weird day at school. Really weird day at school. Um, it got really weird right after I left off in the, um, the uh, teacher's lounge. Um, okay, well, Okay, I'm sorry about that. So, um, a lot happened. I don't even know where to start. Okay, um, well, after I was in the teacher's lounge, I went to the practice rooms, because I had some leftover time, and I was playing some Chopin, and I may have been mesmerized by the music or I don't know I was lost in the passion of it and I did not realize that I wasn't alone until I heard someone crying behind me and I turn around and lo and behold it is the same person who dislocated my shoulder so he's crying and I'm thinking where's Ashton Kutcher am I on punked right now and I find out from him that his dog died so, in that last blog where I said I wish that his dog went deaf, um, just change that last F to a D and... Ugh, sorry, bad joke. So, I'm trying to play the song and then he just keeps ranting about rabies and his dead dog and then we have a fight for a second and, um, 
and I'm really sure that he's about to dislocate my arm again, or maybe both of them. Like, I can already feel the pain coming back just thinking about it. So I have to do what my therapist told me, which is to stay anchored in the moment and to not go back in time, which means that you need to kind of relax your muscles, you need to breathe down in your stomach, and another thing is to try and count backwards from 100 to 0, going by 7s, and um, that helped kind of bring me back to the moment at hand. What I realized is that the guy, oh, I should probably tell you his name, well, we just call him CB for short, so I don't think that any of his friends are really being compassionate about it, because it's not like his grandma died, it was a dog. But that dog had been around for a long time, and I'm team, all dogs go to heaven. So, uh, I tried my best to be nice. It was kind of weird, he was nice to me. And that's the first time CB's been nice to me since... Yeah. And, uh, usually in those moments where I can't really process what's happening, there's the fight or flight mode, which... Um, we did fight, and then I had the urge to fly, and then there's that third one that you don't hear very often, which is freeze. And I was freezing for a second, and then I took those deep breaths, and I unclenched my muscles, and I relaxed, and I feel like for the first time in a long time, Someone could really see me, and I don't think anyone's really seen me in a long time, especially not in person, so, um, that was pretty rad. Um, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so, uh, yeah, you won't believe this, but, um, Oh god, I <laughs> I may or may not have had my first kiss today as well. I'm not going to say who with. All I can say is that it was very unexpected. And I may have kissed that person back. I know, um, it's too soon to say on all that. In other news, um, I saw a platypus girl yet again. And she invited me to this party, hosted by people that I can't f stand. The person that I kissed is probably going to be at this party. And I might go just to see what happens. It could go so wrong, I should not go to this thing, and I probably won't, but maybe I will, so we'll see. The thing is, with Platypus Girl, I mean, she's weird as shit, but... I think I could probably use more allies than enemies right now. Maybe I should open myself up to friendship. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That got too sweet. I actually forgot um, the quote of the day earlier, but uh, I looked one up on the way home. This quote is by Mark Twain. The dog is a gentleman. I hope I go to his heaven, not man's. I'll let you make of that what you will, but... Um, here's to hoping that CB and Platypus Girl's dog has gone to heaven. While CB has not necessarily been my friend for these last eight or nine years, um, uh, it sucks that he's going through that, so I hope that he at least gets some comfort in that. I got kissed today. I got kissed it. It was my first kiss today. That's really weird. Sorry, I'm <laughs> like a really scatterbrained right now. Um, anyway, uh, we should talk about uh, two things that sucked and three things to look forward to. Okay, um, well the first thing that sucked is I got called a faggot way more today than I usually do. And it's by probably the person who singles me out the most often. The other thing that sucks is that I am still stuck on revolutionary attitude. It is a royal pain to learn. But I guess I don't call it a masterpiece for nothing. Three things to look forward to. The first is 
I am going to learn Revolutionary Etude if it kills me. Second one is that maybe I made a new friend today in the Platypus Girl. God, I really hope she doesn't watch this. And the third is that maybe I'll go to this party and maybe I'll see the um, person there who kind of kissed me out of nowhere today. God, this has been such a weird day. <laughs> life sucks, and if I can do it, so can you. And it looks like life's getting a little more interesting. Okay, all right, until next time. Well, you have followed me through another pointless day, but I started learning this song that I actually like by the singer Pink, and I know that's really basic as far as pop rock goes, but um, there's a little something for everybody in these lyrics, I think. The people that wrote it were really smart. Have you ever been a lover with just your hands? Just trust it. Have you ever thrown a fist full of glitter in the air? Wow, that wasn't good. Dennis? Dennis? It's only half past the point of oblivion. The hourglass on the table and the war before the run. And the breath before the kiss and the fear before the flames. Have you ever felt this way? Have you ever felt this way, Dennis? No, because you're evil. Again, the face of evil. Beware.